It's Monday, February 22nd, 2016, and here are your headlines. Neonatal and Pediatric Intensive Care Center opened. New Surinamese airline, Fly Always, carried out maiden flight from Barbados. Series of lectures held in connection with International Mother Language Day. Focus of Energy Act will be on renewable energy. I'm Suzanne Maynard and your local news begins now. The Neonatal and Pediatric Intensive Care Center is now available for children in Suriname who need acute care. On Friday, February 19th, this center was inaugurated. About 10,000 babies are born in Suriname per year, of which 2% ends up in the prenatal care. Of the 200 babies, 75% die every year, which equates to about 150 babies. The academic hospital Suriname has purchased a mini neonatal intensive care unit in 2008, NICU, with a donation of world football star Clarence Seydorov. This unit has been able to provide care for 50 children, says Amadou Juliana, pediatrician of the academic hospital Paramaribo. The need is great, hence the project to build a large academic medical center in three phases, providing optimal tiree and acute pediatric care is possible in Suriname. The hospital has only three challenges. For phase two, the Ministry of Health and the Stats Only Foundation came in with phase two, the construction of a new modern neonatal intensive care unit, each with 1.2 million US dollars. Stats Only then donated 43 thousand US dollar for equipment from some offshore oil companies and the academic hospital came in with 52,000 US dollars. At the moment, Stats Oli has no funds available for new projects. Phase 3, the renovating and modernizing the pediatric ward and facility rooms will need to be done. There is an intensive search for financing for this phase. The new airline, Fly Always, has responded to the call of the Minister of Transport, Communication and Tourism, TCT, and the Rusland, to promote the tourism sector from Suriname in the Caribbean. On Friday, February 19th, Fly Always had its first commercial flight from Barbados to Suriname. On this flight were tourists from Barbados who wanted to learn more about Suriname. Others came for business or just to do some shopping. Very first day, oh, very first day. Okay. And uh, what do you expect of your vacation in Suriname? Well, I must say, I got married, my wife, my wife and I we got married on the 26th, so we, in uh, December. So we hope that this will be an enjoyable trip for us. And why did you choose for Suriname as your destination? Oh, actually, I did it my husband. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, Miss Reese, uh, who was actually one of the promoters for this and flying always, she's the crew who probably was able to contact us concerning coming here and giving support to fly always. Welcome to the land of peace. Certainly, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. But I normally come from the Diana border, we come through Nikeri into Parma. This is the first time I'm flying into Suriname now, and the feeling is great. Okay. And what do you expect of your vacation in Suriname? Well, I'm here mostly on kind of business vacation. I come here to build a business, a little vacation. A short trip, but I, I think I'll enjoy the trip. I'll come back. Okay. Um, I would say the longest agent in Barbados who operates charter flights. Okay. And um, 
play always. You're welcome in it to Barbados. Everyone is happy. And how was the fly? Oh, fantastic. It was beautiful. Everyone told me when we disembarked, they enjoyed the flight and they loved the plane. It is spacious and very clean and comfortable. And the flight was smooth and beautiful. Why did you choose for Suriname as your destination? Ah, it was always my desire to see Suriname. And uh, I was looking for a new destination because we operate a lot of flights to Venezuela. Margarita, and uh, we were looking for a new destination. As Suriname is perfect. Everyone who's here, we brought home like 76 passengers on this flight, and um, everyone is happy and anxious to see what Suriname, Suriname has to offer. During the inaugural flight earlier this year, TCT Minister Andy Ruslan said that the airline will receive a special mission from the government and that is to attract tourists. Amishant Jao said this company will do everything to promote the Surinamese tourism sector in the Caribbean. He said that Suriname can make it if we are all working together to attract tourists to Suriname. The tourists returned on Saturday afternoon back to their country. It is important to understand each other's mother languages. UNESCO proclaimed the Day of Mother Language following riots in 1952 when students wanted to establish Bangla as the official language of Pakistan. The aim is to preserve the mother language so the linguistic and cultural traditions can survive. It is also to promote the awareness of the differences in ethnic groups, says Sila Gobardan, teacher, master study in Dutch sciences and cultural organization. On Saturday, February 20th, the study held a series of lectures on essays of students in the IGSR building of the Anton de Kom University of Suriname. In the world, more than 6,700 languages are spoken, and in Suriname, there are over 20 languages spoken, all with different dialects and forms of politeness. Language is certainly creative. The essays are placed in a scientific journal, and students will do further search for their master study. When the new Energy Act is adopted the next week, the focus will be on renewable energy. According to Minister of Natural Resources Regilio Dotson, more players will be allowed to generate this power source according to the Energy Act. The energy law also prescribes that the energy company, EBS, will remain the sole distributor of the generated power. The intention is that by January 1st, 2017, the Energy Act will come into force. That concludes our local news for today. Thank you for joining us. Good day.